Hello and welcome to this lesson. This, in this design and technology lesson we're going to draw some block letters but we're going to make these block letters three-dimensional using a vanishing point and we're going to use one vanishing point so we're going to create a block letters which are 3D with a one point perspective. What we're going to do first of all is do a title which is 3D block letters and add your name to the sheet. If you're not sure about that there's another video you can watch which shows you that. Then once we've done that we're going to draw a line using a pencil. The equipment I'm going to be using here is a pencil. I've just got an HB pencil here at the moment. I've got a fine liner and a rubber and a ruler. So I'm drawing a line approximately in the center. I'm drawing a horizontal line and then I'm going to measure, let me just check that, four centimeters. You could do a different height but I'm going to do these as four centimeters and I'm going to move along here and do four centimeters again and I'm going to put my ruler on one point, bring it up to the other point and draw just a light construction line. Now you want to draw a light construction line because we might be um, <coughs> getting rid of these later. Then we're going to do for every letter we need to do, you could do your name, you can um, we're going to put a two centimeter or 20 millimeter spacing. So I'm just putting that spacing on here now at two, four, six, eight, ten. So once you've created the spacing for our letters, we can then add our letters. And just like before when we did the plain block lettering, make sure we've taken the trouble to draw a box, make sure that uh, uh, each letter we draw fills the box entirely. There's no point in drawing your box to put the letter in and then not using the whole of the box. Now I'm just writing alphabet letters here. You could write your name so this process is basically the same process as we did with the 2D block letters. Now we're going to pick a point, um, we could pick a point here, somewhere along here and we're going to just make a point here, an X, and mark it V, P for vanishing point. And what we're going to do now <coughs> is we're going to pick, go from the vanishing point to the edge of each letter and I'm doing this quite lightly in pencil it's quite good to do it lightly in pencil because if you do make a mistake we can change that now the top of each detail here <coughs> would be added but obviously that would disappear behind the next letter. So if we go from the ruler there to there. So what I can do now is go over each letter with my fine liner. If you don't have a fine liner you can go over each letter and just line in with a pencil which lining in means just going over if you've drawn it lightly 
just go over it a little bit thicker to give yourself an outline. We can also use a rubber to take <coughs> away any construction lines. I just see now I'm going to add the letters here. So if I put my there and we've got that part of the B. You can add a little shading in these areas here where it might be slightly in shadow and then you can take for the lettering before we used um, two different colors here I'm using two similar colors to just And there we've got that. And if we go back and take a look now, so there is our 3D block letters with a single point perspective.